Hey guys, it's me, Goku, and welcome back to Would You Rather. I haven't done this for you in a while, so I guess it's time for me to get back to it. And I brought a special guest, and you know how I brought Frieza last time? So I brought another villain to join me. It's Nerd to Sell. What is it up, Bomb Squad? It is I, your favorite perfect beer. And we're gonna do some Would You Rather with Goku. <laughs> yeah, well, I brought Cell Light back with the Dragon Ball, so I guess we both know how the game goes, right, Cell? Yeah, I know how this game goes. We pick either one or the other, right? Yeah, that's basically it. All right, bet. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get, get ready to deal with the perfect being again, Goku. I got one W. It's time to get a second one. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. All right, the first question is, would you rather always be tired or not sick? Or always be tired, sick, but not tired? I'm always tired, but not sick. I'm going with always be tired, but not sick. Yeah, I was sick before when I had that heart virus, so I'm gonna have to agree with you. Be tired and not sick. Yeah, speaking of which, you gotta thank Boma for that medicine more often. Yeah, Boma's a great friend. And 76 yeah. can agree with us on that one. Alright, next question. Oh no. Uh, would you rather be cruel in a kind world or be kind in a cruel world? I'm always kind. You know the world's cruel. And I'm all cool. I mean, didn't all I already did this in your world. I went around drinking people, let's be real. Yeah, that was This is just you and me right here. Yeah, that was a bad thing for you to do. Drinking all the innocent people. I mean Hey, I got some Zenkai boosts. I was in some awesome fights. I hey, YOLO! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to choose be kind in a cruel world, so I guess you're going for the cruel one? E uh, you go for that one, I'll go for the other one. Alright. And yay, 54% of gravity! Oh! Wow, that's almost 50-50 with that one. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right, I'm not that evil, apparently. <laughs> Alright, would you rather have four hands or four feet? Four hands. Yeah, it would be cool. I think I remember Tiana hey, beforehand. Hey, poor witch's technique. Exactly! Yeah, but it would be cool to have four hands, so that way I can... I don't have to... I have to block from my force attacks. Yeah. That. Alright, so we'll go for four hands. And... Wow, 87% agree with us. Hey! A lot of people have dirty minds. <laughs> That's true. Okay, especially Master Roshi, he's probably having a dirty mind. Oh yeah. Alright, would you rather stand all day or sit all day? Uh, I'd probably stand, it, it'd be good exercise, but sitting all day, I'll admit, it, you end up with your bottom being numb because you've sat still for too long. You want to stand up. Yeah, that's true, but I need to sit down for my meditation training, so... It yeah, for good meditation. That's fair. That's fair. So... You meditate. Yeah, I'm gonna do sit all day, and I guess you're going for the stand all day. Yep. Alright then. And... Wow, 64% agree with me! <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Oh, this is a... Oh, I think I can relate to this question. Ha! Huh. Alright, would you rather be married forever, or be single forever? It's like we keep on switching back and forth here. Yeah. You pick the one on the left, I pick the one on the right. You pick the one on the right, I pick the one on the left. <laughs> you be married forever with Chi Chi and get that frying pan upside your head, and I'll be single and maybe date 18. Uh, yeah, but uh, actually, uh, actually, in my uh, universe, uh, Chi Chi and I aren't together anymore. I'm actually with Android 21, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I am going to have to agree. I'll be married forever. Nice. And, wow. Oh, wow. 73% agree with me again. Wow, what's up my head, you said? 73% of the people who did this quiz want to get hit upside the head with a frying pan by their wife. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, next question. Would you rather only eat salty food or only eat sugary food? Uh, too much salt. It's horrible, but to be fair, there are foods with only a little bit of sugar that you can use. So, 
I'm gonna go with sugary food. I like me some sweets. I'm not going for some salty. That is too much for me. It'd dry me out. Uh, well, I guess you got a point there, but eating sugary food it gives you a bad stomach ache. So, I'm guessing I'll have to go for the- Well, so does salty food, though. You eat too much salty food and you're gonna get a stomach ache. Uh, that's true, and yeah, salty food gives you high blood pressure. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to get that. As much as I love to eat which food I like to eat, I guess I don't have to agree with you. Go for the sugary food. And, oh, wow, so we lost. Food. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Yeah. So, do you want to read this one? Would you rather live in a very chaotic society or live in a strictly controlled society? So, would you rather live in fiction or reality? Very chaotic society because at the very least that's a chance. Uh, I guess I'm sure. I'm, I guess I'll have to agree to go with the chaotic society. Besides, like, it'd be fun. Yeah, I don't like to live something that's controlled, like the Red Ribbon Army. Didn't you destroy the Red Ribbon Army? Yeah, I did back when I was a kid. Wasn't that the reason that Dr. Zero created me? Yeah. <laughs> to destroy you? Yeah, that's true. But, anyway, 62% Meanwhile, now you're part of the partner. Yeah. Anyway, 62% agree with us. Alright, next question. Would you live fight in a ancient war? Or fight in a modern war? Well, to be fair, if you're in an ancient war, you're gonna deal with a lot of swords and possibly guns. You deal in a modern war, you're just gonna deal with a lot of guns. Oh, and possibly lasers. Ancient war is easy, but modern war is more deadly. Yeah. No, I, guess I, I think I'd go ancient war if I were a human, but since I am a biologically engineered perfect being that can blast away an army within a minute, I'm gonna fall in modern war. Because uh, what's a tank to a fist that can go through it? I guess it's sure, but... To be honest, I guess I'll have to go for the ancient war because they have they might have guns and swords, but as long as I have my power pole with me, I can fight through them. So I'm gonna go for the ancient war. And you fight Spartacus, and I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna beat up a flying tank. <laughs> yeah, but wow, 55% agree with me on the ancient war. All right. Nice. All right, would you rather double your intelligence or double your attractiveness? I would double my intelligence, because my intelligence came from Piccolo, not from Vegeta, and sorry buddy, not from you. Uh, I guess that makes sense. But my attractiveness, that's already at maximum. Yeah, I, I guess I'd agree on that, but I don't know about intelligence. I mean, Bulma taught me some stuff, but <laughs> I can never get anything right. So, I guess double my attractiveness... So, I have to agree uh, with you that. You might want to double your intelligence... Oh, 63% agree you on that one, Cell. See, see, if you're smart, you don't need to be pretty. Alright. Would you rather have tongues for fingers or have fingers for tongues? Um. Uh. Like, isn't this the same thing, though? No, it's the opposite. One is having tongues on your hand, and one is having a finger come out of your mouth instead of a tongue. Oh, I guess... I guess Neither of them really sound good. No, they don't. Uh... I, I, I... If we have tongues for fingers, we're living hentai. No. Yeah, it would be... I'd have a finger as a tongue. I, I feel like I have... If I choose tongues for fingers, everybody's going to know why. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be weird to have tongues for fingers, because I'm basically tasting I'm going to go with have tongues for fingers, just because it's possible. Just because it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Have tongues for fingers for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Just because that mental image is hilarious. Uh, and, oh, 64% agree with having a... 
tongue. A, a, a finger for a tongue. Oh. That is hilarious. All right, next. Lose all your memories, but keep skills, or lose all skills, but keep memories. Which one would you choose, Goku? Oh, man, that's a good question. I mean, I've already lost my memories of my same race, but if I lose all my skills, I won't be strong anymore, so... Um... But if you keep the memories, you know how to use them again. You just have to relearn them. Yes, that's true. Maybe you'll stop stealing techniques. Nah, no, that's about as likely as me stopping stealing techniques, let's be real. I mean, you stole techniques from me and Vegeta and Piccolo as well. Not to and you that. stole techniques from Vegeta and Piccolo as well. Hey, I didn't learn anything from Vegeta. I got some moves from Master Roshi and King Kai. I, I study him. Uh-huh. So, so, to be honest, I guess I'll go for, um... I guess I'll go Lucy and... You definitely and stole the Solar Flare. Well, that's one. I stole the soul flare from Tien. Spirit bomb. Kamehameha. Okay. I learned those from Master Roshi and the spirit bomb I learned from King Kai. Yeah, but you didn't make them. I still learned though. I still do them better than they do. All right. That's all you've got to win that one, buddy. Alright, so I guess I've got to go with lose all my memories and keep my skills. Yeah, I think I'd go with the same. And, wow, 55 agree with lose all your skill to keep memories. Yeah, memories are valuable. Yeah, that's true. Alright, which Have one? no hair anywhere, or have never-ending growing hair? Uh... I mean, I've got perfect hair, I've just got this headpiece helmet on, so, uh, yeah. Really? You have hair? Yes, why does everybody think I don't have hair? I have hair. Oh, I didn't even know that crown on your head is kind of like a helmet. I thought it was a, a, yeah. a part of your head. Okay, think of it like this. You know, Iron Man has the suit. Yeah. This is a suit. It just regenerates with me. Like how Venom does. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to go for the never-ending growing here. Same. I'm keeping my hair. And, wow, 56 screen with no hair everywhere. Wow. Right. Would you rather become 10 years younger or become 10 years older? Um, well, well basically, Vegeta is older than me, so I guess become 10 years younger, I guess? I mean, I would like to be a kid again. Uh, I'd become 10 years older because I'd go into the time chamber for 10 days straight. Well, I'm gonna... I'll end up getting twice as strong. Uh, I guess I, I guess I agree with that one. I'm, but I'm going for the ten years younger. Have fun. And, wow, sixty-eight percent agree with me. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I think this might be the last question. And all right. Let's see. Would you rather break into someone's a stranger's home and stay for ten days without annoying them, or stay outside for six days? Uh, I'd go stay outside for six days. Like camping ain't all that bad. Yeah, I mean, ain't I mean, no way I'm about to be in somebody's house for two days without them knowing. That's how you get the cops called. Yeah. Basically. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree you on the um, stay outside for six days. I, I basically lived in the wilderness when I was young, and. I did book it to Boma and Vegeta's house that one time when I actually saw Boma naked. <laughs> that was that was uh, embarrassing. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Stay outside for six days. Yeah, we gonna go camping and fishing. That's what we gonna and, do, Goku. We gonna get some fish. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> and wow, 61% agree with bringing the stranger's house. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's the last question. So, I guess All it right. was fun. So, it was fun doing yeah. this, this video with yourself. Yeah, it was fun hanging out with you, Goku. 
We gotta do this again sometime. <laughs> yeah, we should. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video with me and Cell. So, Cell, is there anything you want to say before yeah. we go? Yeah, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, and before we go, a special shout out to Angel Fox Games Flash VA for helping us make this video possible. She's the one who requested this. Thank you. <laughs> and then for my side, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe and become a part of the Bomb Squad today. And I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Have a perfect day. Goodbye, humans. <laughs> Alright, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, come subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos. Until then, this has been so Goku. And I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later!